It's kind of crazy. Um, we became friends through our YouTube channel, and Rebecca had met, the Rose family had met this family, so anyway, they're coming over for supper tonight, so we're just getting ready to make them supper. If you've been watching our videos, you know that we've been grazing our animals in our yard. Well, I didn't charge the fence on this side of the yard because it's so far from the electric, and now Dolly's in and the baby goats are in. And Brownie is right down there. Yummy. Enjoy. That is so amazing to me. <laughs> but you don't need them cooked. If you grab Flopsy, they'll all follow. <laughs> <laughs> I moved the pig fence today, not a lot, just a little bit, so the pigs have a little access to some new ground to root in and a little bit of grass. If you notice, the piglets and the mom and dad are back together. We were trying to wean them, but they will run through an electric fence to nurse, is what I learned if the holes are big enough. Today though, I'm excited. Someone's actually coming out to buy one of the piglets. The animals have a new grazing area, a tiny one right now. This little lady got disbutted today. It's kind of an ugly sight. This little guy gets to keep his horns and his male equipment because some folks want to buy him and use him as a little buck. They want to raise mini Nubians, and I guess that's what he is, though not officially. Oh yeah, mini Nubian is a dwarf Nigerian and a Nubian cross in the third generation. at piglets and pick one of the little girls out. Uh, she <laughs> so our friend, he's, he's no stranger to hogs. You have actually a really cool story about something you did in the past. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, trapping hogs in Florida. You take upside down trampolines, hog wire them, put a trap door with a spring on it, mm -hmm. and the pigs, just like an old school fish trap, pigs could push their way in couldn't push their way out and then uh, get them in there and feed them corn for a while and then sell them to whoever wanted how many you think you caught oh I don't know you could probably get about a dozen in there at a time <laughs> hundreds you think you got hundreds of them oh well I don't know <laughs> potentially <laughs> that's amazing it's a public service and a business something like that yeah <laughs> just a bunch of teenage rednecks out <laughs> did you hear that that is an awesome business trapping wild pigs feeding them briefly and selling them it's doing a public service because wild pigs are a nuisance, they're invasive, they destroy native species, they destroy crops and farmland. Since he told me that story months back, I've thought about that all the time, trapping wild pigs. <laughs> Have you caught these before, Grace? I wasn't near excited enough. Here's a little girl. Going to a new home. Joy said, is that Russell? No, that's not Russell. Hey, big. It's gonna be alright. We got your friends. That's right. You have fun. And I don't like touching pigs. You don't like touching pigs? 
Go what ahead. did you find, Joy? Um, a booty duck. Yeah, it was me. Where is she? He thought that oh, good job. she was stuck. Yeah, Where is she at? I don't even see her. Where is she? She tried to bite me. There she is. Maybe she thinks. Hiding under logs. Taste good? She still doesn't want you to mess with Good job, mommy duck. How long do you think she's been in there, Joy? Um, a few days. That's exciting. She's probably been there a couple days because she has been missing for a while. My friends are headed out with one little female pig who is going to initially be the companion for a Berkshire sow and then eventually may end up butchered or they might actually breed her once she's mature. They haven't decided whether they want to get into American guinea hogs yet. Okay, stay right there and I'll get up. Howl, howl. Howl. That's as hard as I can get you. Howl. Howl. The pigs knocked over their water again. Now we're down to four little pigs and mommy and daddy. But that's a good thing. I did want to let y'all know that our new t-shirt is still for sale. There it is, if you haven't seen it yet. Home Sweet Homestead. It's still for sale. A bunch of people have gotten them. There's a link in the description of this video if you're interested in a shirt. This has been another great day in the homestead. Thank you all so much for joining us. We appreciate that you join us watch our videos, and engage with us in the comments. So leave a comment, let us know what you think about getting rid of a pig. Makes us a little sad, but it's the right thing to do. There's more on the way.